You've probably converted your mouse sensitivity between games before, and for the longest time, I've done the same. You just go to a website like this one, input the name of both games, and your sensitivity for the first game. Just like that, you have converted your sense. But for the longest time, I've kept changing my sensitivity because on some games, it feels too fast, and for others, it feels too slow. That's because this method of converting sensitivity matches the 360 distance for every game. Basically, the distance it takes for you to move your mouse to do a 360 will be consistent between games. This is not how you should be converting your sensitivity. There is a better way with monitor distance matching. Monitor distance matching is when you convert your sense based on how far your mouse has to move to cover a certain distance on the monitor. It basically accounts for the differences in FOV between games. There are two ways you can do this, with aim labs or with this website I have linked in the description. With aim labs, the first thing you want to do is select the game and put in the FOV that you use. Then scroll down to the other settings, make sure these two are on advanced. Next you go to mouse and put the sensitivity for your game. Then you want to change hipfire scaling to monitor distance. Now when you select a game and the FOV you want to use for this game, aim labs will convert it for you. But maybe your game doesn't appear in aim labs, or maybe you just don't want to open aim labs just to convert your sense, or maybe you just really hate aim labs. No matter what the case is, we can also use this website I mentioned earlier to convert your sense. However, it will require a little more work and a bit of math. First, you want to put in your sensitivity for the first game. Then, we'll open this other site, mousesensitivity.com. Make sure this is set to default. From here, you want to input the first game. And then, the second game. Make sure you have the correct FOV set for both of these games. And then, put in your DPI. Then, input the sensitivity for the first game as 1. Now, the first thing we want to look at is the actual HFOV for both games. Sometimes this number will not be the same as the in-game FOV, so we want to make sure that the FOV is correct before we put it in the calculator. Click on these numbers to copy them, and then paste them into the calculator. Now click on the sensitivity number for the second game, and what you want to do is either open a calculator, or open a new tab in your browser. Type in 1 slash, then paste the number in, and the resulting number is what you input for the last section of the website. Just like that, you'll see on the right, your sensitivity has been converted. But what makes this better than the other way of converting sensitivity? As I said before, the other way of converting matches the distance it takes to do a 360. This is only good if the two games you're converting have the same FOV. When you convert two games that have a different FOV, it's going to feel off. Think about when you zoom in with a sniper scope. If the 360 distance is the same as your hip fire, it's going to feel way too fast. Many games, like COD, will have your ADS sensitivity match with your monitor distance. Not all games do this, however. An example of this would be Apex Legends. That is a different problem that I won't be getting into. Before I found out about converting my sense this way, I was adjusting it for each game manually. Games with a higher FOV normally had a higher sensitivity too. A game like Fortnite would be extremely high compared to the other games I played. This was most likely because it was in third person. But that brings us into another problem. If we look at the FOV for Fortnite, it is actually 80. And if you would put this into the calculator, the resulting sensitivity will feel extremely slow. There is no way that I've found to convert your FPS sense into a third person game. The only thing you can do is to adjust it based on feeling. If you play more than one FPS game, you should definitely try this out. Try to find the game that your sense feels the best on, and then convert it into the other games. 
The results of the calculator are pretty similar to when I did each of my sensitivities based on feeling, so I do believe it should work for you. The only problem is converting between first and third person. Can't you see I'm blazing? Still my heart is blazing. If the words kill me, I don't need a new world you. My time is my world. This was my first time doing a video like this. If it was helpful for you, consider sharing it with someone. And also consider leaving a like and subscribing. Smell of